you friends. Happy Saturday. It's December 11th, uh, Saturday, December 11th. Uh, we're on day 11 of Hall of Log. Welcome. Good morning. Uh, hope you're all having the best day that's available to you. Uh, we're nearly halfway through the month. I cannot believe things are going so quickly. That's going to be a general trend for the rest of the month. I can't believe things are going so quickly. Um, but anyway, yeah, we're here. It's Saturday. Um, I'm sleepy. <laughs> I was sleepy, but I guess that's par for the course. It's fine. Um, I am having my um, my cinnamon streusel cake, whatever um, the fancy sounding McDonald's coffee, coffee cake, coffee this morning. Um, it tastes sweet. <laughs> um, I don't know that I noticed a bunch of cinnamon. There's some cinnamon. I mean, it's good. It's good coffee. Also, I have moved my microphone to a different location uh, in hopes that I can get rid of some of that sound like I'm filming in a cavern. <laughs> I think what, what it was is I had the microphone too close to the laptop and so it was creating sort of a an echoey kind of situation. I'm hoping hoping that where I have it now is, is a little bit better positioned. I guess we'll see. We'll see. Um, so yeah. Hi, how are you? Uh, we're here for opening tiny presents and enjoying some coffee and chocolate together. Um, so let's get into it because I don't have I don't have anything extra fun to share with you. I did get my teal teacup happy mail yesterday, my Patreon pin clubs, uh, but I'm gonna save that for um, for next Friday's floss tube because um, I got several pins um, and I'm not sure what all they are. So um, so yeah, we'll just open them on floss tube on Friday. I didn't get them early enough to put them on the floss tube that I posted yesterday because I filmed that in the morning and the mail didn't come till sometime in the afternoon. Um, so I don't have any other happy mail because the rest of the mail was trash. <laughs> we get a lot of junk mail here. Um, let's see. Okay, so the McDonald's coffee is actually, it's pretty tasty, it's tasty. Let's see what else they have in store for us. Um, so we're on day 11. I can do things backwards. 11. That looks like a different one that I've seen before. So it's a donut shop. It's white chocolate and vanilla. Okay. Usually you put raspberry with white chocolate. So I don't know about white chocolate and vanilla. It's a duo, donut style duo. So at least this is a, a variety that I haven't seen before. So that's nice. Yeah, we'll try that out. We'll have that either later today or tomorrow morning. We'll see. Um, but yeah, sounds good. Sounds good to me. Like I say, they must save the the fancy ones for the weekend. I don't. I mean, if you're splurging on a on a 24 cups of cheer, you should get special ones every day, not just the weekend. <laughs> just saying. <laughs> just saying. I will definitely be looking for a different calendar next year. Now let's have some Nutcracker chocolate. Uh, what, we're on day 11, right? Where is the 11? Ah, uh, this is the 11. This this one here. You got the, the red and blue outfit there. The fuzzy black hat. That Nutcracker is looking real fancy. Let's see. Ooh, this might be the orange one. The ever, the highly sought after orange flavored one. It's a, it's a dark chocolate looking star. This is the orange, orange mousse, uh, orange mousse caramel truffle. I can read words. Orange mousse caramel truffle. I'm very excited to try this one. And this is good because I really feel like I need a chocolate boost this morning. So, shall we see? Shall we see? Definitely, ooh, there's orange in there. <laughs> so I've seen a time. Mmm. I like the orange. It definitely looks like caramel. Mmm. I like the orange a lot. Mmm. <laughs> That's quite tasty. That might be my favorite one so far. It's interesting to me because they keep calling it mousse. But all the centers look more like, um look more like caramel or just chocolate ganache to me. Okay, give me just a second to finish enjoying this. I'll be right back. And tell y'all what, I would not be even a little mad. I wouldn't be the slightest bit mad if the rest of that box was cho was the orange chocolate. That was really good. <laughs> that was quite tasty. Okay, so let's, let's get to opening tiny presents, right? That's what we're really here for. So we start with a stitchy box. 
We have the Stitchy Bash Box. Christmas 2021 Christmas Bash Box. And we're on day 11. And I will say so far I am liking the individual things um, more for this box than I did for the Halloween box. Now obviously I didn't open the Halloween box on camera. I opened it uh, separately. Um, but I did find that there just there wasn't quite as much stuff um, as I would have. I mean, there was 31 days worth of stuff, but um, a lot of the gifts were not what I would have um, considered putting in a box of that price range. Um, there were a lot of gemstone beads, but they were super tiny. Um, and I'm not sure that I'll use those, um, but yeah. So so far, I'm I'm happier with the the gifts in this particular box. So this is day eleven. We have a little one here. Okay, so it's an itty bitty charm. Not as small as that um, stainless, not stainless, um, sterling silver charm. It's a little tiny stocking, and it looks like it is actually. Um, transparent glass I think maybe I can't tell if it's okay it's more like enamel so there is um, I'm getting none of the light <laughs> trying to get the light I'm not getting the light okay there we go so it looks like it might actually be a enamel on either side of a, um, a metal center there so it's shiniest little stocking um, Christmas charm, a fancy little charm you can add to stitching, finishing, or a scissor fob. So yeah, it's cute. It's not quite my style, but it's cute. So that's today's stitchy box. Um, put that in there and, okay. <laughs> I have things all, all thrown all over the place now. I'm just gonna put this inside this bag so that I don't lose it. because I am prone to lose small things if I don't pay attention to where I put them. So that's today's stitchy box. And now we're gonna go to Fangirl Fibers, uh, Winter in Stars Hollow. This one has been super fun so far. Yesterday was probably that lavender um, oil with the poodles already. It was probably my favorite so far. So let's see what we have for day 11 oh my gosh oh my gosh oh wow 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 <laughs> look at that oh my gosh I love it oh oh man this is so vibrant is this um what do we think is this a fourth of July episode because there's red white and blue there but it could also be um when they I don't think we're far enough ahead to for it to be the living paintings episode um because that was was that season three or four when they did the the living Renoir paintings? But wow, look at the colors there. Oh my gosh. I said that lavender one was my favorite so far, but I just love how she has put red, white, and blue into this skein and it actually looks really cool. I think so. I'm trying to get it to focus. Focus. There we go. I had to glare at it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I love how we have the red, white, and blue, and there's these little like pops of um, sort of a parchment color in there too. This is really awesome. Okay, so let's see, let's see what the the episode is. Oh, this is the dance marathon, season three, episode seven. Um, so this is when they stayed up all night with the dance marathon, and then who ended up winning? Didn't Kirk win? <laughs> Um, but yeah, so I think this is reminiscent of the dresses that they wore because it was like a 1940s theme, if I'm remembering correctly, um, or at least one of uh, Rory dressed up in a 1940s outfit, regardless, regardless. I love that color. It's fantastic. Fantabulous. I love it. I love it. It's really awesome. These just keep getting better and better. So that one's really good. And now we're going to do our over the rainbow. Um, day 11 and I like to open these before I tell you what the color names are so let's see we're gonna go into day 11 here 
Ooh, we have moved into the greens. Can you see? I don't think you can. Moved into the greens now. This looks like a nice green. Look at that. It's like Elphaba green, isn't it? Though Elphaba is not in this telling of the Wizard of Oz. Look how pretty. So pretty. I love it. It's very, very nice. Okay, so this is going to be... I can't even scare a crow. That's a pretty color. I love it. Love it, love it. Okay. So that is what we have for today, folks. Um, I hope that you're... I know some of you work on Saturdays. <laughs> and I'm sorry that you have to work on Saturdays. I hope that you're, if you're working today, that your day goes very smoothly, um, that it's an easy day for you and that you get to finish up and go home and do something fun and relaxing. If you are off today, I hope that you're taking care of yourself and that you're doing something good for yourself. Uh, it's important to take care of yourself before you take care of others sometimes so that you have the ability to be there for others when you need to be. So um, yeah, I hope it's a relaxing and awesome Saturday for you all. And I hope you're all having the best day that's available to you. And I will see you again tomorrow. Bye.